Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. It is proper cold this morning. There's a frisk breeze in the air. It is cutting through us, but we're going to make it fun. We're going to walk around, see what we can get. We've got a few guns out this morning as well, so sit back and enjoy. Winter is now in full swing down here in South Africa and with that comes a lot of rain in the Cape Town area. Everything is green and lush again but for the pigeons that means less food out in the field and more food at the dairy's feeding stations. The bonus for them is the warm sunbaked roofs that serves as the perfect roosting spot with all they can eat just below. The downside is that this makes it pretty easy for the air gun hunters. So this is the strategy, we're going to take the M3 with an 800mm barrel, shooting 40 grain slugs. Just going to see what we're going to get out there today and where the pigeons are. It might be that our strategy will completely change, but yeah, let's get going and see what we can get. With the colder than average weather, it is always a good idea to check the speed of your PCP air gun before you start, because colder air can cause a drop in speed. With fine adjustments made, we head out to the roofs for the first shot. Down. First one at 47 meters. The first shot hits with an insane amount of power and it gets me thinking about a change in strategy. So we head back to the truck and out comes the FX Wildcat Mark III Compact shooting the brand new 21 grain Patriot Javelin Gen 2 slugs at 1000 feet per second. A much safer option for shooting towards the roofs. Yes, that's a nice pop. <laughs> that one went straight down. Maggie guides the destructive little 21 grain straight into this pigeon's neck and takes him down with authority. Yim was up next with his Impact M3 shooting 30 grain Javelin Gen 2 slugs at 1000 feet per second. Oh, first one of the day, 58 meters. First one was all this, more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, makes it look easy and drops this one right on the spot. So it looks like this strategy is going to work. They're just stationed here on the fences and all the pigeons are just sitting on the roofs. Because it's so cold, they like to sit in the sun and the roof provides an excellent roosting place for them at the moment. And that's where we take advantage of the situation. <laughs> oh, shocker. Got quickies. It looks like Maggie is fast becoming a neck shot expert as she sends another 21 grain straight to its target. Nice one at 40 meters. It was time to move on again and Maggie helps me set up for the next shot. She has fast become an excellent air gunner and a cameraman to boot. And down he goes, 66 meters. The strategy is working beautifully this morning. We have to move around a bit, keep our fitness levels up, but it's all part of the fun and I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. Um, the Wildcat is just perfect for that. So compact and light and you don't have to worry about a heavy gun that's going to tire you. And it's just the perfect tool for this kind of job, so it makes things enjoyable. We then proceed to move over some treacherous terrain just to find more pigeons on the other side. Uh, I think it's 78 meters. <laughs> that was a loud bob. <laughs> This 30 grain javelin hits this one center mass, resulting in a very satisfying pop. Oh, that was so loud. <laughs> Another 78 meters. <laughs> This is the first time here me shooting with a Gen 2 Javelins and you can hear that pop. Um, he was quite a surprised by a lot of this and they really do work well. That new hollow point design we've got in the inside that um, promotes uniform expansion really does the job and it works so well. 
Oh, that's 94 meters. I think that might be a neck or headshot. <laughs> Straight down. Yeah, that is a perfect shot in the neck. There's one tool that's an absolute must in this situation and that's a good shooting bag. Especially these Patriot ones that you can just put over the fences like that and you can put your gun on there. Without this, you'll scratch your gun up because that's what you do here is you put your gun on the fence and you take the shot. This makes life much easier and keeps your gun safe. So we're moving on again. So the pigeons move on as they see their buddies falling down beside them. Um, they don't sit for too long and then they fly to another roof but they don't go far and then we just follow them and go take them down there again so that is what we are doing right now whoa coffin shot at 40 meters with the wild cat this time it's close and easy but straight through the neck yet again we're having great success. The pigeons are extremely lazy because they're sitting and roosting in the sun because it's so damn cold um, and it makes our life pretty easy. So it's just range and take them down one by one. Yes, another nice one at 89 meters. So far this little 21 grain javelin is performing beyond expectations and I couldn't be happier. In the head and dead. That was at 70 meters. This slug tracks beautifully and hits him right in the back of the head. Oh. Down he goes, 80 meters. I just love it when they drop like this, absolutely no drama. We're back at base camp again, we're quickly going to fill the magazines, get some air in the guns, have a little drink and a snack and then we're going to go out and get some more. While we were filling our magazines and having a bit of a breather, we were suddenly joined by a few familiar faces from our air gun community here in Cape Town. Among them was Andre Steenkamp, an avid air gunner who helped and supported my YouTube channels a lot over the past few years. It was so nice of them to drop by and we enjoyed their company, but we had a job to do and had to continue. They were obviously also eager to get going and get a few pigeons down. Oh, <laughs> at 60 meters, <laughs> it was a tough angle to ski that. What Yeh meant to say was, it's a tough angle to shoot at. Skit is Afrikaans for shoot. <laughs> 59 meters and down. Straight into the sun and the camera struggles a bit here, but down he goes. You guys probably noticed that we haven't been uploading uh, so many videos lately. And that's mainly due to the fact that um, in the past month or so I've visited FX Sweden to go check out what's going on there and help Ein Froman with some barrel development. And it was an absolute blast seeing the factory and, and seeing the expansion they're doing there and uh, yeah, all the high-tech equipment they use, all the CNC machines. It was, it was quite an experience to go witness that and then after that I was back for a week or so, we released one video and then it was off to the USA to, to Utah for for the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge and that was also a lot of fun uh, being part of Team FX and yeah, just seeing everybody again and meeting everybody face to face and enjoying the competition. Now I'm not a, a competition shooter at all, I don't see myself as one of that but I still enjoyed it quite a lot and just uh, uh, experiencing the whole 100 meter bench rest uh, competition. It's my second time that I've been there and it's just getting bigger and better and the prize money is going way up and yeah that was a lot of fun as well but yeah that's the reason why we haven't released so many videos but we're back in South Africa so from now on uh, expect the video every two weeks again.
And it goes at 82 meters. That was a nice close one, 22 meters. <laughs> Shame, this one got absolutely destroyed by that 30 grain javelin. Behind he goes, 68 meters. Well, that is it. We are done for the day. In the end, we chose a wildcat. I think it was the perfect tool for the job. It performed really well and we really enjoyed it. And if you did, please like the video. Remember to subscribe and then we'll see you next time. Cheers.